Hello and welcome to Tommy Talks TV. I have one singular goal with this show and that is to help you make smarter decisions so that you can have better relationships. I'd like to start by saying a very big thank you. Thank you for all your likes and your shares and your comments on Facebook, on Instagram, on YouTube. I really, really appreciate you because you're helping us spread the message further, faster. So thank you very much indeed. And particularly, I want to say a very big thank you to everyone who has engaged with the Tommy Talks radical campaign, uh, which kicked off on the 1st of April. I strongly believe that while the world is in meltdown, the next 30 days or the month of April could mark a radical shift in your life, in your relationships, in your marriage, depending on how you handle this period. So, you know, I'm, I'm really excited about, you know, how we're engaging and all the things that we're doing together. And I'm really trusting God that we're going to grow and develop in this season. So if you haven't joined yet, then please go on to my page, either on Instagram or on Facebook, and see what we're doing and join the radical campaign. Your life will be radically different by the end of this month. Now, um, today I, I'm just taking a break from um, my normal schedule, answering questions that people ask, because I really want to speak to your heart. Um, I understand that we're in the middle of unprecedented times. You know, there's no point sugarcoating it or no point pretending. The world is going through a massive challenge at the moment. And today I just wanted to speak from my heart. And, you know, essentially what I'm talking about today is how you as a family can get through this current storm that, you know, we're, we're all experiencing, this, this global storm. So how will your family get through this storm? That is the question um, that I'm posing today. And I'm hoping that we will, you know, come together and have some answers or you know come come to some answers so the truth is this, you know, when you look around you, people's hearts are gripped with fear, all sorts of things are happening around, you know, some people have lost their jobs or their livelihoods or their businesses, um, you know, all sorts of plans have been disrupted, uh, marriages or weddings rather have been cancelled, you know, you know, people are, are concerned about their health, all sorts of things are happening around us. But, you know, the, the key question is this, you know, at the end of the day, how are you going to face this situation, this storm as you, you know, as a family? Uh, together uh, as a couple uh, together how are you going to face this this storm and that's what we're talking about today so you know the truth is this I was reflecting on this whole thing and I thought to myself well the reality is that while some families will make it through and they will come out stronger from this season some will not that that's the truth um, and I'm believing and I'm really trusting God that your family will make it through not only will you make it through but you will make it through stronger you will come out on the other side of this stronger and that's why I'm sharing with you from my heart today so you know I, I was reflecting on um, uh, uh, something that my husband shared many years ago it was actually a book that he wrote which was titled in the middle of difficulty lies opportunity you know and I really want to say to you in this season there are opportunities in this season even though we're in the midst of a storm so in every storm there is an opportunity and I just want you to engage just type in the comments box say in every storm there is an opportunity in every storm, in every storm, regardless of the challenges you're facing in your marriage at the moment or in your relationship or in your home, in your family, in this storm, there is an opportunity. Maybe you're thinking about how do I keep my, my, my children engaged, you know, during this period? How do I keep them educated? We don't know how long this is going to last, but there is an opportunity in this storm and that's what we want to dig out. So. You know, this storm that we're going through right now is an opportunity for us to demonstrate as a family how strong we really are, you know, how resilient we are, what we're made of, um, what we consist of, what's happening on the inside of us. It's an opportunity to demonstrate strength. So I was lo looking at this scripture from the book of Luke chapter 6, um, verse 47 to 49, and I'll read it from you, for you. I'm reading it from the Passion Translation of the Bible. That's my new favorite version of the Bible. Um, I, I really love the way it renders the scripture. It says, let me describe the one who truly follows me and does what I say. Now, let me stop and say that this was Jesus talking here. Um, so he, he was uh, basically talking, um, preaching, preaching a message and saying, let me describe the one who truly follows me and does what I say. He is like a man who chooses the right place to build a house and then lays a deep and secure foundation. When the storms and floods rage against that house, it continues to stand strong and unshaken through the tempest. For it has been wildly, wisely built on the right foundation. 
But the one who has heard my teaching and does not obey it is like a man who builds a house without laying any foundation whatsoever. When the storms and floods rage against that house, it will immediately collapse and become a total loss. Which of these two builders will you be? And that is my question to you today. Which of these two builders will you be? So if you think about it, this was a storm you know, that was faced by both builders. So it's not a question of how strong the storm was, um, but it's a question of how did they face that storm. Because ultimately, at the end of the day, your, whether your marriage will survive and thrive in this situation or not, it's not a question of the storm you're facing or how strong the storm is, but how you choose to face that storm. So it's the same storm, but you had two different outcomes. The Bible says that you know, for one of them, the one who truly follows Jesus, Jesus and does what he says, which is the key, does what the word says, practices what, you know, what, what God says in this season. He says this one was someone who built on a solid, a secure foundation. And because of that, they had a good outcome. But he says for those who hear but do not obey or do not do um, you know, what, what the scriptures say, ultimately it says that this one immediately collapses and becomes a total loss. That will not be your story in Jesus' name. So essentially what I'm saying is this, it's all about the foundation. It's all about, you know, what, what you've built on and what you continue to build on. So, you know, it's not the force of the storm that sinks a marriage or sinks a family. You know, it's about how you choose to approach that, that storm as a family. And that is where the rubber meets the road. That is really what, what the key issue is. You know, how will you respond in this storm? Which of these builders will you be? What do you really believe? You know, how, how solid is your foundation in God? And that is why, you know, when I started the radical campaign on the 1st of April, um, the, the first thing I said is that, you know, for the challenge number one to remember is this, begin with God. You've absolutely got to begin with God because a fulfilling life, fulfilling relationship, fulfilling marriage can only be built on a solid foundation of a relationship with God, a strong relationship with God. So this is a time to reflect on your relationship with God. You know, I think about where I am, where am I um, in my relationship with God at the moment? And, you know, what do I need to do to build myself stronger? Do I need to spend more time in the Word? Do I need to spend more time praying, you know, praying for my family, praying for my children, praying for my spouse? Um, what do I need to do? Begin with with God. Don't, don't be moved by all the things happening around you. Go back to what your foundation is, which is in God and in His Word and in His presence. Now, the second thing that I shared um, on the second day of the Radical Campaign, I said you've got to be honest about where you are. So the journey to where you need to be in your life or your relationship or your marriage begins with acknowledging where you are. So where are you now in, in your marriage? Um, do you need to build up in the area of communication? Uh, do you need to improve in, you know, in the area of understanding? Do you need to become more patient? What, what is it that you need to work on in your marriage? Take some time um, you know, and reflect, because sometimes we don't get the opportunity to reflect when we're so busy um, running up and down, doing all sorts of things. But take the moment and reflect and say, OK, where are we and where do we want to be um, in, in this marriage? Now, the, the third thing that I shared um, on the third day, I said, recognize the power of your words because the right words spoken can open up new possibilities in your relationship or marriage while the wrong words can make a difficult situation even more difficult. Now the challenge is this, when people are, you know, you know, families are now in close proximity, you're constantly stuck in the house day in, day out, you know, you can't go out, go out about your daily affairs and all that. There's a tendency to become impatient, you know, um, you know, and just say things that you probably should not be saying. So you've got to choose your words very carefully in this season. Choose words of faith, choose words of hope, choose words of love, choose words of understanding. Choose your words very carefully. Now yesterday when I was sharing, I said you need to become a better better active listener. Become a better active listener. Well, actually, that was today. Become a better active listener. So there's a world of difference between hearing and listening. You know, it's, it's, it's two different things. So some, sometimes people say, well, you know, I, I, I can hear what you're saying. Um, but, but when you're actively listening, what you're doing is you're, you're actually trying to understand what is that person saying? What is your child trying to say? What is your husband really trying to say? You're trying to get to the heart of the matter. And when you do that, that builds deeper understanding in, in the marriage. Now, um, the, the, the last point, I'll give you a preview of what I'm going to be um, talking about tomorrow, what I'm going to be sharing tomorrow on my page. I'm going to be talking 
talking about staying on the same team. And I really want to emphasize that because one of the strategies of the enemy is to divide and conquer. Don't play the blame, blame game in this season. Okay, so things you know don't seem to be working. There are all kinds of challenges. Maybe you're squeezed financially. Don't play the blame game. You've got to stay on the same team. You've got to stand shoulder to shoulder so that you can actually face this storm together and fight it together. Anyone knows, everyone knows that. You see, when you have two teams that are, are playing sports, um, you know, it doesn't matter how skillful the members of a team are individually. If their teamwork is not good, they will always lose to the team who has the better teamwork. So you've got to work on your teamwork as a family in this season. Do everything that you can to be together, to stand together, to encourage each other, to be on the same page, to be on the same team. And constantly remind yourselves that your spouse is not your problem, actually. You've got to face the real problem, which is you know, the storm or the challenge that you're going through at this at this moment in time. So, you know, I, I really, really believe that you will get through this together. And I want you to type in the comments box, you know, as a form of, of a confession, we will get through this together. We will get through this together. We will come out on the other side of this COVID-19 storm. You know, at the end of the day, and we'll be able to look back and say, actually, in this season, we grew as a family. In this season, I grew as an individual. In this season, I learned this, I learned that, I developed this skill, I became better at this or that, you know. I became more patient, I became more tolerant, I became more understanding. We strengthened our communication, uh, we strengthened our sex life, you know, whatever it is. During this season, let there be things that you can hold on to that, you know, you, you pull out or you took out of this season you will come out stronger you will definitely come out stronger well I hope this has been helpful just speaking from my heart to you today I'm really trusting God um, that you know when you come out on the other side of this season you'll be able to look at look back with joy in your heart um, and see what the outcome of this season has been and it will be a good outcome in Jesus name so I'm, I'm, I'm really grateful for this opportunity to share with you. Let me just pray with you right now. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, I thank you um, for my brother, for my sister, for whoever it is that is watching right now. Thank you for their lives. Thank you for their home. Thank you for their marriage. Thank you for their relationship. You know the challenges and the storms, whatever it is that they're going through in this season. I want you to, to, to touch their hearts and help them to see that you understand. Help them to see that you know, you're know you with them in the middle of the storm. Because you say, when we go through the fire, you are with us. Us. Lord, let them feel that sense of your presence with them in this season, even as they go through it. I ask that you would give them the grace to strengthen their home, to strengthen their marriage, to strengthen their family in the name of Jesus Christ, to constantly remember the things that matter and to focus on the things that matter. Lord, at the end of this day, at the end of the day, let them come out of this whole storm stronger than ever before in the name of Jesus. Lord, all the challenges that they're facing, I ask, oh God, that you would take them through it and and give them a testimony at the end of the day. We give you thanks and we give you praise in Jesus' name. So it's been great sharing with you. It's been fantastic sharing with you actually. So join the Radical Campaign on my Facebook page and next week I'll be back with another video. God bless you and bye for now. Take care.